Right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at solving logarithmic equations. So, for example, we have log to the base 5 of x plus 6 times log to the base x of 5 equals 5. So, the first strategy is to get everything in terms of the same base. So, here we have a logarithm in terms of base 5, and here we have one in terms of x. So, let's start off by getting everything in terms of base 5. And for that, we need to use the change of base formula for logarithms. So, just remember, if you want to express... Uh, log to base x of 5 in terms of log base 5 we write this as the ratio of two logarithms both to the new base log of 5 and then we apply this and the numbers that go in here is the top number the number in the bracket originally so this is 5 here and then the old base goes down on the bottom so this is how to change the base now everything's in terms of base 5 but actually this simplifies this is equal to 1 over log base 5 of x. So we can just substitute this back in. So this is equivalent to log to the base 5 of x plus 6 divided by, just sub this in for that, log to the base 5 of x. And this equals 5. And now this is nice because both of these logarithms are exactly the same. So we're going to use a substitution. We're going to let y to be equal to exactly this logarithm. So y equals log to the base 5 of x. And then we can express everything in terms of the variable y. So this becomes y plus 6 divided by y equals 5, which is much nicer. And this is actually a quadratic equation hidden in the skies because I can multiply the whole equation by y, and then we get y squared plus 6 equals 5y. And this is a quadratic equation. So we can just solve this. If I bring everything onto one side, we get y squared minus 5y plus 6 equals 0. And then just solve this using the techniques you know. We can actually factorize this. So this, if you spot it, this factorizes as y minus 2 times y minus 3. And this equals 0. And you can check that if you expand it out, we get plus 6 and we get minus 5y. So this tells us that the solution to this equation is just when these brackets equal 0. So this is when y equals 2 and when y equals 3. So we're almost there. We actually need to convert these back in terms of the variable x, back in terms of how the problem was stated. And for that, we need to remember how we define y. So y was this logarithm of x to the base 5. So we need to kind of rearrange this to get it in terms of x. And the way we do that is we uh, think about the logarithm as the inverse of the exponential. So we can just bring everything to the, uh, raise everything to the base 5. And then we get a formula that x equals 5 to the power of y. So that's just by definition of the logarithm. And then to get the values of x, we just plug in these values of y. So this tells us that our solutions are x equals 5 to the power of 2, and x equals 5 to the power of 3, just substituting in the values of y into this equation. And we can actually evaluate this. This is just 25, and this bottom one is 125. So I've got one more example, and this one's actually going to be a bit easier, but I'm just going to wipe off the board. Okay, so for our second example, we've got this logarithm equation. And now the bases are both numbers, but the strategy is the same. We want to get everything in terms of the same base. So let's convert this logarithm of base 4 into base 2, because 2 is a, a smaller number. So we need to use our change of base formula again. So if you remember, if we want to write log base 4 of x, we write it as the ratio of two logarithms to the new base. So log base 2 divided by log base 2. And then we apply these logarithms to the numbers up here. So on top goes x, and on the bottom goes the old base. And this bottom logarithm is something we can actually evaluate straight away, because obviously 4, I'll just write this out again, obviously 4 is 2 squared, so we express 4 in terms of 2 to the power of something. And this straight away tells us that the answer to this logarithm is just 2. So this original logarithm is equal to log base 2 of x divided by 2, which is really nice because we can just go ahead and sub this in. And this gives us uh, log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x divided by 2. And this equals 2. So we can just collect the terms here. And this is going to be 3 divided by 2 times log base 2 of x. And this equals 2. And this equation is actually nicer than the one we saw before because it's not a quadratic. It's just a linear equation. We can just solve it to get it in terms of the logarithm. So if I just uh, 
bring the two up here and divide by three, this gives us four divided by three. So this is what the logarithm equals. And to find the value of x, we just need to apply the inverse of the logarithm. So this gives us that x equals two to the power of this right hand side. So x equals two to the power of four over three. And if you want to put that into a calculator, that comes out to be roughly 2.52. So this is actually the only solution to this logarithmic equation.